Google Docs, the basics. Google Docs is a new cool service provided for free by Google.com. Google Docs is a great way to store and share documents on the internet. With Google Docs, you can work on a document, spreadsheet, or presentation online without the need for office types of software. You also are able to share that document with others in real time. This allows you to collaborate on the document online without ever having to meet. The documents can be saved online or you can download them to your computer in most types of formats. First thing is you need to go to www.google.com and log in. If you don't have a login, you'll have to set one up. This can be done by selecting the sign in from the Google home page and selecting create an account now. This Google account will give you access to Gmail, Google Sites, your Google Calendar, and many other Google applications. Once you have your Google.com account, just type in your information and sign in. This will take you back to Google's home page, where you can see your, lo your login located at the top of the page, right here. This lets you know that you're always logged into Google. From here, select the More drop down menu and select Documents. This will take you to Google Docs home page. This is the main page where you'll be doing most of your work. Let's take a look at the interface. On the left, you will see your folder directory. This shows all the documents that are owned by you, opened by you, ones that you've starred or highlighted, uh, shows all the files that you have hidden so that only you can see those files. You have your trash, which once you delete an item, it's put into the trash until it's permanently, permanently deleted by you. You can also see all the folders that you have. You can search items by type. You can search by PDF, document, presentation, or spreadsheet. And it shows all the items that you have shared uh, with others. Now if you look in the middle of the page under this blue bar, this is where most of your commands are and they're running horizontally on the page. The first one, if you see, click is new and this allows you to create a new form which is basically a question or a poll, a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, and a new folder. You can also select from a template, but the templates right now are very limited, so I would advise to create your own document from scratch. You also have the ability to upload a file that you've already created into Google Docs. And this can be as easy as attaching a file to an email. You just click Browse and select the file you want from the location it is saved to. From this page, you can also rename the file. There is also an email address at the bottom that you can send the file to as an attachment from an email. Unfortunately, this feature does not work with spreadsheets or presentations at this date. You can also select to share your files. And this is really the power of Google Docs. This gives you the ability, first you have to highlight it, this gives you the ability to um, invite multiple users in order to work on a document collaboratively. This allows you to invite people to be either collaborators, which means they can edit and change the document, or you can invite people to be viewers, which they can only see the document and cannot make any changes. And as an originator or the owner of the original document, this gives you the power to do this. You're also able to move documents to different folders. It gives you the ability to select a file and to have it hidden. This means no one else but you will be able to see this file. It's sort of out of view. There's del delete in which you can move selected items to the trash, but it does not permanently delete them until you actually empty the trash. You can also rename a file. And there are more actions that you can select. You can star or unstar a file, which is sort of like um, flagging a file. You can also manage the sharing, which is basically the same thing as sharing. You can invite people to collaborate on a document. One of the other cool things about Google Docs is the ability to publish your document. 
Um, your, doc your documents can now be published on the internet where anyone with uh, internet access is able to view it online. Your documents will be assigned a u unique address, a URL on google.com that you can send to your friends and colleagues. You can also preview the document to see what it would look like as a web page. Another cool feature with Google Docs is the ability to see what revisions have been made. You can tell when the document was edited, what changes were made. You can also see who made the changes. And you're able to refer back to a, an older revision in case something was uh, altered or changed that you didn't like. And this is really powerful. Google Docs also gives you the ability to save a document in a couple of different formats, such as an HTML file, uh, an open office document, a PDF, a rich text file as a text-only document, as a Word document, or whatever type of extension is associated with the file, whether it's a PowerPoint or an Excel file. Unfortunately, right now, Google Docs does not support Windows Office 2007 file extensions, such as DocX, PPTX, or XLLSX, but files can be saved with previous extensions and can still be uploaded and opened. And you're able to change the ownership of documents so that uh, you can give the ownership rights to someone else and they can invite people to be collaborators or set people as viewers. As you can see, Google Docs is pretty easy to use. The interface is simple and there are not many buttons to be confused by. It's basically a very stripped down version of an office suite. I'd like to thank all of you for watching the video. This has been the first series of Google Docs The Basics. As you can see, this is a very powerful tool and has been getting rave reviews from many in the teaching and learning communities.